While Johns Hopkins grows tiny brains in petri dishes, you may have missed the reusable disappearing ink notebook, the drone flight system DARPA is gonna unleash, and 3D printed ears, cause oh god. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where this week, Johns Hopkins School of Medicine also got a prosthetic arm's fingers to move with mind control. So just take that in. Mini brains and mind control. I'm not sure what's happening, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with zombie food. Doctors at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine have managed to 3D print living tissue that can be successfully transplanted into animals. The team has so far created muscle, bone, and an ear out of a biodegradable plastic-like material. They've even implanted the ear under the skin of a mouse and confirmed that it had grown new cartilage and blood vessels after a few months. At this rate, we'll soon see all sorts of new appendages grafted onto the backs of mice. No! 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 Terrifying. DARPA is crowing now that its fast, lightweight autonomy program for drones reached a new milestone. This is the first time a DARPA drone hit 45 miles per hour while wearing a camera and a bunch of heavy sensors. So just mildly freaky to see. The drone was remotely operated though, which is why the following tests might mean even more. The obstacle avoidance round had operators following the drones, but not interfering with the AI at all. Granted, they are a lot slower than the one piloted by people, but it's DARPA, so look out. So we've been dying to show you this Kickstarter project. Say you still prefer taking notes with a pen and paper. Fair enough. But with the Rocketbook Wave, you can still save your notes in like six different cloud storage spots designated by the little symbols on the bottom of the page. Simply take a picture in the app and off they go. And that's not all. The notebook is reusable if you use the right kind of ink that disappears with heat. Pop it in the microwave and it's ready for another round of note taking. So the opposite of the milky disappearing ink you spent way too much time with as a child, which turns out doesn't work real well as an adult either. Call the builder? That's pointless. And finally, for about 170 US dollars, you can get a replica gun made popular in an anime movie called Psychopass. In the movie version, the gun, called the Dominator, recognizes its owner and does some other crazy stuff. The fan version is pure prop, but we have to admit, it still looks kind of awesome. This episode was brought to you by Go90. 